religious. Well, Erica Hill's looking at that question for us. Erica, good morning to you. Savannah, good morning. In our exclusive today, Do You Believe survey, 77% of respondents said there's a difference between religion and spirituality, with more than 70% of them saying it's actually more important to be spiritual than it is to be religious. But what exactly is spirituality? And what does a spiritual but not traditionally religious life look like? Well, that depends on who you ask. For the Lula family, prayer and moments of gratitude are an essential part of each day and a cornerstone of their spiritual practice. I'm grateful that I get to spend the weekend with you. To me, spirituality is just the best of what any religion is seeking to offer. Raised by a Jewish mother and a Christian father, Susie Lula always found comfort in religious traditions. But it wasn't until she began attending the Agape International Spiritual Center that she felt a stronger connection. When I found Agape, it felt more like a community where the spiritual essence that I was looking for was just infused. You're taking your attention away from where you will be going. Founded nearly 30 years ago by Reverend Michael Beckwith, the Agape community now includes 9,000 members, united in their desire for a deeper spiritual practice. I think that sometimes there's a misconception that spiritual people are very fairy and I would say it's just the opposite, that a, a deeply spiritual person is trying to manifest their gifts and their talents in this world to change the world for the better. We just love to give, so we just begin by just giving thanks. At Agape, there is an emphasis on service, there is talk of God, there is prayer, but without the traditional structure many Americans may be used to. Who or what is God to you? What does that mean? God is a presence that's never an absence. This presence is everywhere, so you, you would never pray to God to come here because the presence of God is infinite, it's always here. But for some, spirituality without the traditional framework of religion isn't enough. Reverend Linda Mercandante was raised in an interfaith, non-religious home. As a young adult, she too yearned for something more, embarking on a spiritual journey, and after much searching, found she felt most fulfilled by the structure of organized religion. When I just saw myself as spiritual but not religious, I found it a little lonely, actually. There were things that I had big questions about but could not find the answers to. Today, as an ordained minister and professor of theology, she has focused much of her research on people who consider themselves spiritual, but not religious. People do want to separate those two terms. I think they're more harmonious uh, than people realize. Nationally, about 11% of Americans describe themselves as spiritual, but not religious. Mercadante interviewed people from across North America and from just about every racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic background. As diverse as they were, their feelings about spirituality were remarkably similar. You would think maybe it was that they all had gotten hurt by organized religion, but that's not what I found. Often what they didn't like was some aspects of the theology. They felt that religion would require them to sign on the dotted line uh, that would control their beliefs and their behavior. What do you think draws people to what would be considered a more spiritual existence? You know, there's, a, there's an old statement that says that religion is for people who don't want to go to hell, and spirituality is for people who've already been there. <laughs> and so oftentimes, uh, people are on the spiritual path because they've had some very, very hard times. Religion hasn't provided an answer. But that doesn't mean a spiritual person isn't open to finding an answer. For Michael Beckwith, that search is an essential part of the spiritual existence. We're keenly aware that there are many paths to awakening, many paths to enlightenment. I really want organized religion to take seriously people that are spiritual but not religious, and I hope that spiritual but not religious people can take seriously what organized religion has to offer them. Kindness is my religion. That to me says it all. Kindness, I think that that comes from the inside out. A reminder that perhaps what matters most isn't the label, but the way we live our lives. We're from the dad's home, that's awesome. Religion, as we know, can sometimes, and faith can be tough things to talk about, but what was interesting in speaking with a lot of these people is that they had all taken such interesting paths, 
And what they said is what they found, a lot of the religions, whether they were raised in them or they decided to practice it now, they find they all have a common message of love and of taking care of those around you. Gratitude, which mm -hmm. I love that family's message. It's a really nice mm -hmm. tradition, yeah.